in our contemporary world, you know, usually the man would think he's superior to the lady. And ladies also need their freedom and they also want their freedom. They also want their own side of the whole story to be understood. Now, it depends on who, who, who feels superior to the other. This is major, the major cause, one major cause of gender violence. Especially in our society, a normal African society paints a picture from childhood that the female is inferior to the, to the male. And we all grow up with that mentality. Despite the fact that there is a normal slogan that it is all about ladies first, but in this normal African setting, it is no. Various cultures, like in the Yoruba culture, in the Igbo culture, and some other cultures, it is believed that when a man is stepping into a place and is coming with a lady, the lady goes behind, whereas the man comes first. But that is not supposed to be so. Everyone should have equal opportunity. Everyone should also have equal priority. In the case of rape, who do you think should be blamed, the victim or the oppressor? Now, it depends on the scenario. In some scenario, you have to blame the two. Now, whereas some other scenario, you blame the, you, you may also blame the victim. At some other points, you may also blame the oppressor. Now, like I said, it depends on the scenario. A scenario whereby the, the victim knows that this particular place I'm going to, or this person I'm going to meet for whatever reason, there is, there is a, a great potential to be tortured, to be raped. And then he or she, go, he or she goes ahead to the place. No, mind you, rape could be either the male or the female. Now, the normal mentality is that people would think it is just to the female. What roles do you think society and its members can play to, you know, help curb rape and other kinds of domestic now, violence? Now, first is enlightenment. Enlightenment. And next is appropriate education. Because if you're also occupied, you have something doing, and then you are educated, then you, you, you're going to find out that, of course, you know that whatever you are doing has a, a legal consequence. you educated, you know that this has a legal consequence. If you are caught, there is a, a punishment for that. So if you are wise, if you know what you're also, again, if you know your rights, if you know what your rights are, then you are, you, you, you are not likely to be a victim or not, or, not, or not likely to be the oppressor. What do you think about violence against women, especially in marriages? Oh, I advise any couple, once there's domestic violence, quit. It's better to be alive than to tell story. It's only a living that tells story. It sounds like you have been a victim. Oh, I don't want to remember it because when I was 18, I, I got married. It, I was 18 and I wedded the next year. I was a victim because we are in a family house. The worst thing that can do to any woman is to live with the, in a family house with the father, with the mother, with the sister, with the brothers, everybody in the same compound. It's not a good one. How did you survive the violence that your husband you know? Ha! I'm surviving by the grace of God. You're still in the marriage? No. I left the marriage after three years. I had two kids. I had bruises. I had this the scar from my husband's elder brother. You can see it. This my husband's seat. Sorry. This somebody's seat. I had three at the back. You know what? I had two kids. When it was getting out of hand, I had to leave the marriage. They were advising me, but I refused until it was done on me that my life is at stake. What advice do you have for single um, girls or women so that they don't get into this kind of situation that you got out of? My advice, get yourself educated. Find yourself a job to do. Even if it warrants you selling orange in the streets. I sold orange. I started with 40 naira in a bar then. On the major streets, I started it. By the grace of God, 
I started with that 40 Naira. After some time, I can see myself having 2 million Naira in my account because I didn't give up. Don't give up. Be cautious of your life. Your life comes first. Don't be ashamed of what people will say because they might laugh at you that you, your marriage has crashed. It is only God that keeps you alive. I am a witness. I am a survivor of a domestic violence. I don't wish anybody to be involved. Instead of you to die, I am happy being alive. I am still single, but I'm happy. I lost my two kids inside the, the marriage. One died in their custody. I took the other one away. Later, she died. She had a kidney infection and died at the age of 20. But I'm still living. By the grace of God, I went back to school. I'm a graduate. I'm working in, an, in a government organization. Well, nowadays in Nigeria, um, maybe because of an economic trend that we are facing now, gender violence is getting worse and worse by the day. And uh, we can, it is evidence on uh, social media, radio, televisions, even on newspapers. Every day we read. We heard on television, on radio, no, husband killing wife, wife killing husband, and in short, it's everywhere, every news and cranny of this country. Aside from economic challenges, what other what are other causes of gender-based violence? Yeah, let me just narrow it down to uh, the marital uh, angle, marital li life, infidelity. It's one of the uh, the causes of gender uh, violence in Nigeria. You, you often time we we have, like I said earlier. Men not being uh, truthful uh, to their wives, and wives not being tr not truthful to the husband. So this cause violence between uh, spouses. Are there roles that men and women can play to help curb violence, uh, such kind of violence in the society? Well, in my own little understanding. I think it is high time men and women woke up and realize that the whatever whatever legacy they lay down now, the children of today will be the one to inherit them. So we we there's thing for everybody. Everybody, more especially the adults, to begin to uh, 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 trace their uh, footsteps and uh, and uh, 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 take it upon themselves the need to live a meaningful life. What do you think about men who rape women in society? They feel less. They feel less confidence and uh, morally from the background they don't they don't have this support from the home and they all see their father doing that to their mother and that is why they most especially in a male home they grow up uh, feeling that they can assault any woman as they like they don't have a sister only if they have a sister they don't care about their sister they have that they have that lost confidence do you think women should be blamed for so for, for some sexual um assaulted cases Yes, women should be blamed of, for assaults at a point in time based on their dressing mode, wearing mini skirts, when it's not in the prop, uh, when it's not properly done uh, or, or setting either in the morning or in the afternoon, you will dress, you will dress anyhow. You have these short bumps, you're dressing it in the, you're putting it on in the morning, putting it on in the afternoon, instead of it to be put on in the evening. And you are T trying to tell men that you are welcome, you are available. I don't drink gum. 
Well, in most cases, we find that uh, some of the women who are young women, young girls who have been raped at about 11, 12, 13, 14 okay. ages, uh, were not wearing provocative um, dresses. What do you think about this? Yeah, on that part, uh, on that particular point, yes, they will not be blamed because at that point, the men they are already aroused and they want to express express that feeling, that urge at that particular point in time, and they cannot control it, and they they like having it almost all the time. What do you think society should do to men who eventually turn out to be rapists? <clears throat> So we sincere Nigeria society, we don't have counseling or counselors. Counselors, psychiatrists, counselors that we help them to to cop that or sexual counselor to be, to be precise. And it's not being studied in school, in the university. I think it was being studied in university. That's why we encourage counselors or sexual counselors in different fields to, to be out, to grow up to uh, cut all the deviances down. First of all, what I would think about the violence is um, man and woman, they are not being patient at times. That's what is just causing it. Because if the man is getting angry, the woman is there to pet the husband, to calm the husband down. And man, because they have ego on them, they may not want to calm down, but if you have the Christ in you, you will know how to calm the man down. That it will not make the man to be angry to the point that the man will start punching you like a punch bag, you know. So I think they have to be more careful and more, you know, um, understand each other. What do you think about domestic violence that is erupting today's society? Well, uh as far as I'm concerned, domestic violence should not be encouraged in our society. Probably because of the current state of the economy might have erupted such. But I think it should not be welcomed in Nigeria. You don't think fidelity, infidelity is a problem, too, is, is a cause of domestic violence? Yes, yes, infidelity is one of it. Do you think that women um, hitting, women killing their husbands or hitting their husbands or meeting violence against their husbands or males in general is a response to the frustrations that women have faced so far in marriages and relationships. Ha. Don't let me say it should, it should be a response or it should be frustration. I, anybody who does that, a, a wife who stabs the husband, to me is diabolical. It's devilish. No matter the circumstance, you shouldn't resort to you stabbing your, the woman, stabbing the husband probably because of domestic violence. There are legal ways at which you can uh, combat that. So that should not be the uh, one the, uh, the woman should resort to. I think that should be mutual understanding. Get to, especially for those who are aspiring to get married. Which is, uh, uh, it, I, I think it's advisable you get to know the person, your spouse to be, get to know each other, get to understand each other, and try to tolerate each, each other. By that, I think it, we are going to curb the issue of domestic violence in the society. Oh, domestic violence mostly caused by women or uh, in most cases the women they are not submissive to the wife uh, to the husband and the women most times they feel like the boss at home so and you know men they want to show yes they are they are the husband of the house so they want to be on top every time so I believe the, the women that are not submissive to their husband are the most cases why um, there is domestic violence in each home. Yeah, I don't support men beating their wife. I don't support that. Even the Bible don't support that. So I will not support that. I believe at a time in a relationship, there should be the man should have a uh, harsh word at least a control that will um, suppress the woman's anger but not up to the extent that the 
um, a woman will now go on stabbing the husband. I don't buy to that idea. Marriage seminar, marriage counseling, and um, early marriage causes all these too. Because early marriage, if you are not right for the for marriage, it causes it. And home training will also cause this. But to me, if there are more marriage seminars, marriage counseling will cover all this. And the role of the parents in the marriage will also cover it. Because the parents of the spouse or the should call to the attention of the wife and the husband each time such situation is arising. What do you think about domestic violence against women by men? Um, it's not good for a man to be beating his wife. And for a wife to be beating her husband is not good, it's too bad. As a Christian consigned, it's not, it's in, it's not written in the uh, Bible that the man should beat his uh, wife. That I love your wife. Love your wife as you love yourself. What do you think some of the what do you think are some of the problems that can cause a man to beat his wife or the woman to beat her husband? Um, what I see there is by the man is not taking care of the woman. Then the woman will provoke by fighting. That is what I see there. If the woman if the man can provide food at home and love each other, all those things will stop.